President of Iceland, Ambassadors, distinguished delegates. Uh, I would like to start by thanking for this opportunity to participate in this um, important conference on the Arctic. Uh, there is a need to look at the region from a global perspective because the global impact on the ecological transformation taking place in the Arctic due to climate changes goes way beyond narrow traditional state and regional interests. Uh, therefore, we constantly need to frame and reframe our Arctic policies to meet changing Arctic realities. Uh, for the last years, uh, we have all witnessed significant changes in both policy making and operational tasks on security in the Arctic. In Iceland, uh, there is a political consensus to prioritize the Arctic in foreign and domestic security policies which places the Icelandic Coast Guard at the center of both. Uh, therefore, our preparedness uh, system is increasingly focusing on Arctic security, keeping in mind the challenges of this large and remote area. Um, as a search and rescue operator in the Arctic, in the middle of the North Atlantic Ocean, this confronts the Icelandic Coast Guard with demanding questions such as how can we best utilize our resources, how do we prioritize, and not least, how can we become a reliable partner in enhancing security in the Arctic, which of course is the goal, main goal of the Icelandic Coast Guard. The Icelandic search and rescue region is over 1.9 million square kilometers, uh, or more than double the size of the exclusive economic zone of Iceland, and 18 time, times bigger than the country itself. The distance from land to the far southwest of the search and rescue region is approximately 600 nautical miles. Uh, maritime activity has increased in the search and rescue region, which increases the likelihood of accidents. The weather, wave height, fog, wind, and drift ice can provide risks for ships sailing in the area, particularly in case of poorly prepared vessels. Any accident can pose human and environmental risks, which makes good equipment, training of crews and passengers, and right decision-making essential. Um, in our mind, it is quite clear that we are all facing new challenges in a rapidly changing world, and to that we have to react. Based on that, the Icelandic Coast Guard has, for the last years, been reorganized completely with the aim to be an active and reliable contributor in a multinational cooperation in one of the toughest marine areas of the world. Uh, the Icelandic Coast Guard operates three rescue helicopters, three offshore patrol vessels, and one maritime surveillance aircraft. The DAS-8 surveillance aircraft is designed for surveillance, search and rescue, medical transport, and pollution detection. The Coast Guard patrol vessels are all equipped for search and rescue in the Arctic. Uh, the acquisition of our newest ship, the multipurpose vessel Thor, in 2000, 2011 was highly important for the Coast Guard, and the ship is the only vessel in our region equipped with oil recovery equipment. Uh, the vessel is specially designed for these foreseen chalices around and north of Iceland. Uh, the operation center of the Icelandic Coast Guard oversees the daily operations of the assets, but a number of major functions are performed at the same time as the center is designated as a joint rescue coordination center for the Icelandic search and rescue region, international fisheries management center, vessel traffic service, and more. Uh, the Icelandic Coast Guard is also re for responsible for running uh, four radar and communication stations on every corner of Iceland, giving an added value to create as accurate surface pictures at any given time as possible. Um, on the other hand, 
at the very best search and rescue equipment is only useful if operated by well-trained people in accordance to up-to-date process plans. Our people is not only providing maritime security in the north, but also patrolling the sea around Iceland. This includes um, operational fisheries monitoring, protection against illegal activities, and marine pollution surveillance. Additionally, and in accordance to the Icelandic Coast Guard, Coast Guard responsibility, we have uh, highly trained people uh, in hydrographic surveying, nautical charting, and bomb disposal. In a search and rescue operation like ours, information gathering and cooperation with the neighboring countries is of most importance. Um, as this picture uh, demonstrates, the joint effort of Iceland, Denmark, Greenland, the Faroe Islands, and Norway uh, provides increased security in this part of the Arctic. The cooperation between these countries, as well as other Arctic states, and relevant actors is excellent and continuously increasing. Uh, the regional cooperation is based on bilateral, multilateral and international agreements and ranges from information exchange to large-scale operational exercises such as um, Sarah's Greenland Sea. Um, the exercise provides an outline of how large-scale search and rescue operation in the Greenland Sea and elsewhere can be performed. Uh, without a doubt, Denmark, due to its presence in our neighborhood, has been one of the key elements in our cooperation. The Icelandic Coast Guard has been in direct cooperation with the Danish Navy uh, regarding maritime surveillance, as well as search and rescue, with frequent exercises throughout the years. Um, it is no doubt that the Arctic can be a dangerous area and um, to a large extent poorly surveyed. The weather can change very quickly from being calm to severe storm with um, icy conditions. Uh, there is drift ice and icebergs and visibility is often greatly reduced due to fog along with the long Arctic nights. On top of that, the area can be outside of range of search and rescue helicopters and other assets for search and rescue are limited and can be far away. Uh, it has been defined that environmental threats, marine pollution or accidents due to increased maritime traffic in the Arctic is a key risk for Iceland because of its dependency on fisheries. Uh, with our new uh, multi-purpose Coast Guard vessel, um, Iceland is now better prepared to deal with environmental accidents on the open sea. A reminder of these challenges uh, was the reefer Fernanda last year, which caught fire south of Iceland, near the spawning grounds of um, some of the most valuable fish stocks. Um, the complexity of the task was multiplied uh, due to international combination of the crew, registry, ownership and insurance of the ship, besides the weather conditions and, and the fire itself. Um, in connection with discussion, uh, discussions on, on, on trends and challenges in the Arctic, there is an ongoing work in measuring the benefits of establishing an international rescue and response hub in Keplavik, Iceland, utilizing the former U.S. Naval Air Station. A joint steering group of the Icelandic Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Ministry of Interior, led by a project manager from the Icelandic Coast Guard, is currently evaluating the feasibility of a rescue hub. The, lo the location is very practical and uh, the area offers all necessary infrastructure and facilities um, within the restricted area of the airport under the control of the Icelandic Coast Guard. This includes the Keplavik International Airport with good connections both to Europe and North America. Uh, the Icelandic Coast Guard foresees a rescue hub where our neighboring countries can store rescue and response equipment, operate from the area if needed, and where they can step into command and control infrastructure for an ongoing operation. 
The rescue and logist logistic support that could also be used for regular training and support for other Arctic activities. Uh, the challenges um, in the Arctic are many, and some are more manageable than others. First and foremost, our main goal is to be, prefer be, be pre prepared as we are facing known and unknown challenges. Um, as for improved security in the Arctic, the key solution is to be found in regional cooperation. The Icelandic Coast Guard intends to be a valuable partner in that respect. Uh, I believe the Arctic states, in good collaboration with others, have done an incredible job in forming and improving cooperation in increased maritime security and increased maritime security in the Arctic. Uh, we need to continue on that track. Thank you.